Hello and welcome to this video. My name is David and today I'm going to take you through inserting images into Word. Now I come across a lot of people that ask me questions about this because you can insert an image and then you can't get all your text in the right place around it. But what I'm going to do is take it further today. So rather than using the default image styles, we'll have a look at creating our own styles. So I'll show you both ways, but then how we can add some other effects to it so that your Word document isn't just the boring, straightforward image on there. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, here we are in a Word document and I want to insert an image. So the first thing you need to do is come up to insert and then you've got under the illustrations group you've got this one here called pictures and if you drop that one down you've got a choice here of this device stock images or online pictures I'm going to use stock images today but if you click this device you can navigate to your own images so I'll click stock images and let's just pick an image here this first one you select it and then click insert and there's the picture inserted now what you need to do is select the picture by clicking it and you get this extra contextual tab at the top called picture format and the first thing that you should do really if you're going to have text around this image and you're going to do a few things with it is come up to this one here that says wrap text drop that down and just select one of these others. At the moment it's in line with text, so I'm going to click square. That means we can move it around easily. I can grab the image and now move it around, whereas we couldn't do that if that was in line with text. Now we're going to resize this image, so you can go onto any of these corners here to resize it. The corners are better because otherwise you can um, stretch or squash your image and lose the aspect ratio. So if I use one of these ones here, you can see how that's squashing it up. So let's just do an undo and use this one here and we can bring that down and it keeps and maintains the aspect. And then we can move it around in position. Because we wrap the text, we're able to click next to it if I just double click there and I can start typing text in and it stays next to it whereas if it was in line with the text you wouldn't be able to do that you, it would the text would go down to the bottom okay so I'm not going to concentrate on the text so much today as manipulating these images so click the image to make sure you've got this contextual tab picture format at the top and here's your picture styles so there's some quite good ones here you can use you know you can have a beveled rectangle and as you hover over you can see what they look like so if you're happy with these ones you can just go ahead and select one of these and you've got a nice sort of picture frame or style up there something like that but if you want your own then we can actually do some other things with this so what I'm going to do first is just delete this one and insert by a slightly different method we're going to start off by inserting a shape so if you come up to shapes which is on your insert ribbon bar and then pick a shape that you would like so let's pick something like this now when you're drawing shapes you see how it all goes out of shape if you want to maintain its aspect if you hold the shift key down that maintains the aspect for that particular shape so as you resize it it resizes all of it so now we've got a shape format ribbon bar at the top the thing I always go and do first is go to shape outline and come down to no outline now what we're going to do is come up to shape fill this is where you would change the color of the shape but instead of picking a color come down to picture 
and again I'm going to go to stock images but you could go to file and select your own image so I'll select something like this maybe click insert and there's our image inserted in and we've now got our own particular shape rather than the set shapes that Microsoft give you now we can make this look a bit better if we come up to shape format you've got shape effects so we could have a beveled shape let's click this one here see how that bevels that slightly and then maybe we can put a shadow on this so let's go to shadow and we'll have maybe this one here and that gives you a very slight shadow and we can now maneuver our picture and resize it remember to hold the shift down when you're resizing and there is our own shape now there's a few other things we can do so let's delete this one and have another go so we'll insert this time a triangle so let's insert a triangle like this again I'm going to remove the outline and this time instead of inserting a picture what I'm going to do is hold control down and press D and that gives me a replica of that particular image so let's just position this something like this and then control D copy in that triangle several times select the first one hold your shift key down and select the others so they're all selected and then come up to your shape format ribbon bar come up to the group and click group and that groups them into one shape so now I'm going to go to shape fill and come down to picture again we could go from file I'll go from stop and let's pick this one here our image in our own made up shape here so again I'm going to maybe go to shape effect and going to put a not a bevel because what this does when you've grouped them see how it puts a bevel on each triangle so but I am going to go for a shadow and this time we go for maybe perspective and then remember when you resize hold shift down so it maintains the aspect and there we have our image in our own shape that's grouped together so you can do quite a few other things let's delete this one you can have shapes that are not necessarily touching each other so if we go to insert shape I'll insert this square shape here let's remove the outline and then just move that something like that and then control D and just bring that down make it a bit smaller control D again just resize it there we go and now hold your shift key while selecting all of them and then come up to group and group them together so now these are grouped together and remember to select your image go to shape fill and picture click insert there's our picture inserted in to shapes that are not necessarily touching each other but we've still grouped them together again when we select this we can resize it by holding our shift key down to maintain the aspect and if we want to put some effects on it again we can perhaps come down to shadow and let's try this particular one and there's got a nice shadow there and you can see you can get some really nice effects yourself rather than the ones provided by Microsoft there's my introduction to inserting images and doing a few of your own shapes sizes resizing holding your shift key down to maintain that aspect remember to word wrap if you are putting an image in if you're putting an image into a shape you don't need to worry about word wrap it automatically does that hopefully you've gained some tips there and if you like the video please give me the thumbs up and 
If you don't want to miss any, please subscribe to the channel and click that bell so that you get notified anytime I upload a video. So thank you very much for watching. My name is David of initlearning.net.